I'm Tony Sklar for BNET TV here at Mobile Internet World in Boston, and I am here with Lawrence Weber of the W2 Group and the famous author. In your second book. Marketing to the Social Web on John Wiley and Sons, yep. Well, let's talk about that. Yeah. Well, Marketing to the Social Web is all about the Internet as a platform that is not a channel. It is the closest thing to physical life that we have. and. The book really For is. Some people maybe it is physical life too. <laughs> That's true. If you're you know into that sort of thing, avatars and so forth. But uh, the elevator speech on the book is is what do companies do uh, with the advent of MySpace, uh, Facebook, and that way to communicate. They've got to build communities and they've got to understand how to communicate that way. So. Well, actually, before before I get into my my banter on social networks, let's yeah. talk about your longevity in the industry. Well, I've been around about 30 years in marketing. I built uh, the Weber Group, which is the largest high-tech PR firm in the world, which became Weber Shandwick, which is the largest PR firm in the world. Uh, and we introduced companies as diverse as Lotus, Monster.com. We actually introduced HTML. So for Tim Berners-Lee, who's speaking right now here, uh, and is Sir Tim Berners-Lee. And so I've been around the Internet since the very beginning and uh, have studied its marketing implications. Um, you know, so well, okay, let's talk about the wild, wild west that is what we're today? talking about uh, today yeah. in the mobile yeah. Internet space. The, the, the idea of monetizing ecosystems, though, of monetizing particular platforms. Yeah. Monetization is going to take a little bit longer just because uh, in the mobile space it is the Wild West and right now it reminds me of the 80s in the computer industry when the hardware manufacturers were in control. The carriers are in control right now and it's going to be software that really blows this out. And uh, as soon as the software platforms are more rich and abundant, you're going to see uh, you know, uh, ad platforms a la double click type. Uh, type of uh, platforms you're going to see free offers you already are you know free lattes at Starbucks on your cell phone uh, you know and it's it's only the beginning right now because uh, there's two phones for every person born right now in the United States right. which is sort of at, odd are people having two phones but you know uh, you know this is going to be the primary individual medium for everybody you know we're starting to share screens so it's no longer just your laptop it's going to be your mobile device there's no longer that third screen idea it is we have that convergence of sharing the information and using Correct. that mobile device as being able to pass information to it to carry to and from your your mobile experiences and your multimedia experiences but that's still coming back to the idea of monetizing through that value chain yep. and how people are going to be able to actually make money from these businesses there's going to be there's going to be subscription services, there's going to be uh, loyalty plays, there's going to be advertising supported. I also think there's going to be a huge explosion in local mobile. So, you know, finding that restaurant, finding the review that's attached to it, the, you know. Having that, that almost true experience with that particular item that you're looking for. We're just seeing the beginning of mobile social networks, like with things like Blue, Blue Pulse and oh, Moco I'm Space. so glad you came back to that idea of mobile social networks. Okay, yeah. so let's sort of get into that a little bit, because that idea of social networking, I, that coin phrase, really, we've gone beyond that now. It's not really just a convergence space where I'm meeting high school friends anymore. No, what, what's happening is, you're, you, whether it be uh, you know, uh, you know, online in your house or on your mobile, um, your mobile device, you're going to belong to about eight or nine communities. You know that you go to every day. One's going to be a sports community. One will be social, like a Mocha space is for urban kids. Blue Pulse is for a little older group. Uh, you know, and you're going to belong to maybe uh, a disease if you have one. You're going to want to get information there. Maybe you you like a church, uh, and then maybe even a buying experience. Is it Amazon or is it another kind of retailer that you belong to on a regular basis? And it's going to go with you everywhere you are. And as the web becomes, uh, as it moves into its fourth phase, which is broadband and rich media marrying, what's going to happen is the experience is going to be highly emotive. So you're going to be holding emotion in your hand, and it's going to be very cool. You're going to watch people like you w on your hand. You know. Absolutely. I mean, so. people do that now. I mean, we, we, have, we do a lot of streaming to the, to, to the handset. We do a lot of streaming, obviously, to the, uh, to, to the web, but we actually are taking that experience with that one step further. We're actually going through to the, uh, the mobile handset so that people are uh, carrying the, that type of information. They are carrying that uh, on the now media yep. with them on the go. 
go, if they're on the plane, the train, the taxi, the, 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 the wherever. And, you know, even even movies. We had just come from the Simeon Smartphone Show in London, where I know that the Motorola Z8 now comes with the Born Identity as a side load, right? Totally. And, and, you know, as the screens become a little larger, as the definition becomes very good, I mean, I was over at the Media Lab uh, at MIT the other day, and they're working on a prototype phone that actually unfolds so that the screen becomes about this big, but the screen is the same as the speaker. Uh, uh, yes. You know, so it's the same technology, you know. Is there and any OLED or PLED involved in no, that? No, no. No, just all... It's all mesh. It's all, wow. Yeah. You know? So, I mean, you know, the stuff, whether that's it or not, and then you, you add to that sort of locating technology, which already exists, right. you know. So I walk by a Coke machine, and it says, Larry, do you want a Coke? You know, just hold <laughs> hold up to your phone. No, but I'll have an espresso. <laughs> right. Wait yeah. a second. Larry no, actually, I'd like a martini, okay? <laughs> you know. <laughs> but, you know so. I can appreciate that. Listen, obviously, you know, you, you spent a long time in this industry, and, and it still continues to be that wild, wild west. And whether the pendulum Swiss switches one day from the handset carriers of the manufacturers all the way through to the development of the application that ends up pushing the driving force of the uh, of the gateway throughput. Absolutely. Yeah. And remember, in my, my world, uh, even though I respect the carriers immensely, software has driven everything in innovation. That's why Apple's on the top, not just because of their design, it's because of their software, you know. They, do, they put a very nice package together. Yeah, so I think we have to watch the applications is what's going to happen, is where, you know, uh, the, the real explosion. And will people watch an hour and a half or two hours of television or movies on a mobile device? Probably. They are in Korea right now, they are in Japan, you know, so, you know, with longer commutes, with uh, you know, uh, more people, you know, we're over 300 million people now in the United States. Uh, when I was born, there was only 125 million. So, you know, that changes wow. things, you know. <laughs> you know, also the majority of people working for us that are in their 20s don't have landlines that's anymore. True. So it's all their mobile device, you know, and that's what they do. Um, you know, it's interesting. My 17-year-old daughter laughed at me the other day when I said, I'm getting up after dinner to go online. And she said, I said, why are you laughing at Dad? She said, Dad, we never use the word online. We just are. We just are. Well, yeah, you you know, know, that's a very right? true sense. We just just are. Yeah. You know, whether it's the BlackBerry device, whether it's your, your, your handset, whether it's your computer, we just are. It's, it's a converged lifestyle. Yeah. And it's become a verb, not a noun. So, you know, and that's, you know, whether good or bad, that's what it is. Well, you know, I appreciate you, Larry, taking the time and the opportunity to speak with us here sure. today at Mobile Internet World. And maybe you're hoping to get a chance to speak to you again through GSM or CTIA or one of the many conferences. That one I'm of the sure many conferences. Get. I'll be speaking tomorrow in a keynote Perfect. on um, uh, marketing to the mobile web and uh, what that's really about in deep. And then I'll be doing a book signing right now uh, for marketing to the social web, which is, again, uh, you can get on Amazon or your, or your choice, you know, kind of thing. Or your website. Or your, or website. your blog site. Whatever. Or your website. <laughs> Everywhere you want to be, you know. <laughs> Thank you very Thank much. You. I appreciate that very much. I'm Tony Slar for B9 TV at Mobile Internet World here in Boston.